Hi guys, Tom Burke from TomBurkeVoice.com. I really appreciate you joining the list. So to thank you, I wanted to offer you this free video on what I feel is the number one voice training exercise to really improve your speaking voice and your singing voice. There's lots of historical context for using resonant voice exercises in everything from voice rehabilitation through speaking voice training and singing. So I thought we would start there. So resonant voice is all about finding the most efficient sound for you. What's the easiest sound with the least amount of input or effort? So well, that's where we're gonna start. So what I want you to do is hum around in your speaking range and find the one note that feels best. So mm, mm, kind of humming where you would talk. Typically, most guys land around the, the F below middle C, mm. so right around here. Mm. And for ladies, they mm. most often land around middle C as their best pitch. Mm. Mm. It's often slightly above where we would speak normally. So check those mm. pitches out again, guys. Mm. Ladies. Mm. Great, so we're going to start on those pitches. And what I want you to do is we're going to tune the vocal track to be most resonant and efficient so you get the most power for the least amount of effort. So how you do that is first find the position of your molars. So we're going to do three different positions. We're going to start with a clenched position, then we're going to do a wide separated position, then find something in the middle. So like most things in life, the extremes are not really where we want to live, but we're trying to find that sort of middle place. So take your molars, mm, clench them together. Now separate them, mm, but keep your lips together. Mm. Now, find something in the middle of those two positions and see if you see any sort of increased sense of buzz in the face. So you're gonna go, mm, mm. then that in the middle. Mm. Right there is for me. So most people experience this in one of three ways. They'll either say it feels like their whole face is lighting up, or they'll feel a sense of buzz, or hear a, a ringing sound. I hear that ringing sound. I tend to hear, um, it sounds like wind chimes or something. So find that position once again. So clenched, separated, and something in the middle. Very nice. Good, after you find the molars, then we have to find the lip position that's gonna be most efficient for this particular sound. So with your lips together, I want you to spread and protrude your lips until you feel even more buzz or more ringing in the face, okay? So it looks like this. There it is. It's usually something just north of mid, so heading your lips towards almost protruding them, but not as much as a pucker. Mm, it's, I always feel like I'm about to answer a question like a, mm, well, maybe, I don't know. It kind of feels like that. Try once again, so keep your lips together, but spread, protrude, find something in between those two. Mm, there it is for me. It feels like something very linear, something very reliable, something very clear. So see if you can find that. So do molars, do lips. Mm. Now try the lips. Keep those lips together, spread and protrude. Mm. Good. Now, it's all well and good to do that on a hum, but how are we, how are we gonna get to singing and speaking? on stage. So eventually we're going to add in different variables including consonants, vowels, uh, rate changes, rhythmic changes, but for now we're just going to go from the single hum to a vowel. So I always like to start with E. So we'll use a little bridge. We'll get from the M to the E using a Y. So you're going to use M, -E -M then Y-E, Y-E-E. -E. Try that. First start with the molars. So clench, separate, find the middle position. Good, now find the lips. 
step three, add the yi. E. And see if you still feel that sense of ringing or that sense of oral facial vibration on that yi. Molars, lips, yi. Mm -hmm. So once you're in that spot, you can check to make sure you're staying there by slightly moving the lips. And if you're in the right spot, you'll start to hear some sort of whistle noise or an overtone or some more ringing. It feels like it's almost above the pitch, almost like you're doing two different pitches. Sounds like this. Mm -hmm. Some of you may recognize it as overtone singing. I often say the aliens are leading the way. It kind of sounds like a 1950s alien movie if you did if you added vibrato in there. But you try it. Great. So you could spend hours doing this. And the point is that you're not going to get necessarily good by watching a five minute training video. It's more of developing a lifestyle of practicing and seeking ease and efficiency. So you can start with those three steps. You're gonna start with finding that molar position, finding the lip position, and then converting it to a yi, Y-E-E. -E. And how you know you're staying in the right spot is if you slightly move the lips, you'll hear that overtone. That's how you can um, check that you're staying in the right spot. I promise you, once you find this position, it really is the foundation of all good speaking and singing. It helps me speak for seriously nine or 10 hours a day without getting hoarse. It also has really helped my singing be absolutely much clearer than it's ever been in my ent entire life since becoming a speech pathologist and since really working on these sorts of uh, techniques that integrate voice training and voice therapy, finding the common ground. And I just noticed for my students, they tend to get overwhelmed if they're going on auditions or if they're giving a presentation. They don't need a lot of information. And I'm sure a lot of this can be very overwhelming. So you need some sort of grounding techniques that can always help you find home base. And I feel like this is it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to um, working with you again in subsequent video trainings. So continue to check out TomBurkVoice.com for more um, blog postings on these types of uh, video tips. And I look forward to seeing you online. Take care, guys.